My lightning talk today is about a small project that I, uh, I'm, I worked on recently uh, based on some feedback that I heard from uh, the field. Um, and I'm gonna share my screen um, and kind of show you the project that I created. So I call this the Delta Lake Health Data Profiler. Um, when I've been working with different organizations in the field about managing their, their data lakes or their Delta Lakes uh, on Databricks, one of the very common uh, in things that, you know, I, I come from a data warehousing BI background, and one of the very common tools in our toolkit has been to have the information schema, if you come from like a SQL realm, um, or the schema, the, the schema of your database, right? Um, and the, there are many tools out there that do this, but it's pretty simple to do. You just got to catalog all your information. So I kind of built something that uh, put that together along with some profile information, some data profiling statistics. Uh, very commonly um, as like a data engineer or a data analyst or an analytics engineer, I need to know what's going on with my data from a statistical standpoint to understand um, how to build delta tables or how to uh, work joins if I have to, to see, to diagnose different issues with my data and my joins, um, I need to understand the profiling statistics. So what I did was is I made a little notebook here to, to build those uh, constructs, those tables for you so that you can run this in your environment, uh, pick a database, uh, run it, and then I'm gonna show you some ways on how, how it works with Lakehouse. So with the new, uh, stuff that we announced this week, uh, SQL Analytics or Lakehouse in general, how can you use this paradigm uh, with a project like this? So let me show you. Let me show you. I'm gonna create two constructs. Uh, there's gonna be a table called profile data and there's gonna be a table called schema information. And that's the, the schema of those two tables. Um, and essentially I'm gonna be doing some, mod uh, some Spark configs, just uh, optimizations for, for Delta to be able to write efficiently. And then I'm gonna, I, this is just uh, notebook magic. I'm gonna create a widget. I'm gonna populate it with, uh, with uh, database choices. So just show databases, because I wanna choose all the databases in my um, environment. And then what I do is uh, use some Python and SQL to generate the information. So um, if you come from like uh, a SQL realm, uh, T-SQL and PL-SQL have like dynamic programmatic sensibility. I do the same thing with Python. It's a very common methodology, but I create, I use that uh, dynamic process to create uh, the information, and then I create the tables uh, inside of the database uh, that I'm using, and then I also create temporary tables um, uh, for an interesting trick that I found. Um, so essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a process that will loop through all of my tables, um, and then it will create the schema information. Um, and then it will create, and it kind of puts it all into temp tables. And then it goes through all of the columns in each table and it collects statistics on those columns, just basic data profiling information. Um, and it stores them inside those Delta tables. And then finally, I merge the, the, the temp tables into the actual uh, tables themselves so that uh, we can have like uh, the actual tables inside the database. And then I clean up after myself and optimize those tables. So I have these tables now in my, in my Delta Lake, and this is what they look like if you just select them from inside the notebook. Here I have my schema information, which has the database name, table name, column name, and the data type. And then we can add any metadata in if we like. And this is the basic profiling information. Um, essentially, it's just uh, the, the value, uh, the number of those records, and then the length uh, if it's a string. So just simple data profiling statistics so that I can do, I can look at my data and understand it from a high point of view as an architect analyst. So what can I do with this data? Now we were on Lakehouse, right? I, I, we have a new SQL analytics tool. Can, can we use some, some of the new tooling to, to visualize our data? Absolutely. So what, I'm, what I did is I created a few queries that use the statistical information um, that I created with the data profiling task. And then I created some dashboards with that. Um, if we go into dashboard, I can pull up the overview. So what this shows is uh, at a table level, it shows me my, the statistics of my data profiling outputs that I just generated in the notebook. So um, anything that I generate in the notebook environment, then in my dashboarding environment, I can use that same metadata or those databases. So I, I look at the, the tables there and I can see at a high level 
what the data looks like, uh, distinct values. So if I have to look at cardinality to understand what's going on in my data, if I have to do optimizations for my analysts, like do Z order or partitioning strategies. So what if I want to look at a specific column? Let's say that I am, I wanna look at store sales. I have some type of situation where uh, things are coming not that how I expect them for a specific column, let's say net profit. So I can click down here in this column detail and what will happen is that it will, I can look at a high level at my table and then I can drill into my columns. So I can see statistical information about columns themselves. So if I need to understand from a high level what's going on with my value distribution or what my, my data is made up of, like how many uh, of those distinct values uh, are there so that I can better understand uh, how to optimize these tables and constructs, right, for in order to get good performance for, for analysts. Um, so essentially, it allows uh, a way for you to understand at a high level very quickly what's going on with the data in your Delta Lake. So one other thing that I built for this um, was not just statistical information, but one thing that happens very commonly when you are kind of dissecting performance uh, at scale is that uh, you have different join operations. Um, and oftentimes, you know, it, you'll hear things like you have your data skewed. If you have a it, so you have to manage skew join. Um, and, you know, I was always uh, kind of like, well, how do, how do I figure that out, right? For me, I have to kind of visualize it uh, in order to understand what's going on. So I did, I built this join profile. Essentially, you can pick two sides of a join. So if you think about um, like keys in different tables. So you can better understand, uh, you know, how, what will happen when you join these fields up, uh, what, what the data is made up with, and then you can understand how to optimize the, uh, the join criteria. So here, I'm just going to choose uh, reason, uh, run that, and then I'm going to go into one of my destination tables for reason and see what it would look like. Uh, when I join those tables up. Everything returns. So when I would join these, these two tables up, and this is uh, all based on TPC DS data, so it's benchmark data, so it's meant to be homogenous. Um, it's synthetic data. Uh, but essentially, this gives me a, a good idea of what would happen when I join these up, um, what, how, how my join profile would look, if I have to kind of account for any type of optimizations. Uh, and you can th think like downstream, I can add a hint uh, if I need to or something like that uh, inside the query in order to kind of better optimize and put a nice little graphic down here that helps you, you know, I know everyone knows how joins work, but you know, I'm a visual person. So I like to uh, make it simple uh, for, for everyone. With that, that's the project. Uh, I did put it out on Git so that you can, uh, you can download it and this notebook and create it with inside of your environment. Um, I do have some things I'm still working on on the uh, data profiler. For example, uh, I have to figure out how to way to remove things that uh, have been profiled previously. Uh, I'm still figuring that part out. Uh, so if you wanna contribute, cool. Uh, if not, you know, I'll, I'll be working on it as I, as I see fit. With that, I'll take any questions.